jam, okay? So I went and got this pectin that you get at the natural food store, health food store, and um, this is what I always get, but go figure, there is no freezer jam in the instructions. I normally do freezer jam, but all I see here are um, cooked jam instructions. That blows me away because this has always had freezer jam instructions. But anyway, that's okay because I actually don't have a ton of room in the freezer for this. So I needed some self shelf stable jam this time anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and make this with you. So this is what I'm going to do now. So hopefully this is okay with you. Otherwise you have to go find another pectin that has freezer jam to do it. But I'm only gonna, I'm gonna make a one recipe here together and um, I need to triple it, but I'll make the others later. So this is what I'm just kind of walk through it again, through it with you because I haven't actually done this for a while. So it's going to be a walk through with me. We'll do it real um, together on this side. Um, this is uh, low sugar or honey. So I'm going to do, I might do one of those for Maggie, but for right now I'm going to do jam. Oh wait, excuse me. I'm going to do this one. <laughs> Sorry. This is the one I'm going to do with the low jam or honey. This one is with stevia or no sweetener. So I don't, I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to do this side. So you can pull that. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see that, but pull that out. And we're going to go down through here, through the instructions right here. So in your packet, you should have, um, this packet, which is your um, calcium and this packet, which is your pectin. Okay. So, um, number one, uh, rinse and uh, wash and rinse the jars. Okay. So we've actually got these, we've, uh, washed and rinsed them. We are going to actually, I already did this, but I've got, um, I've brought the, um, lids and, and, uh, the lids and the rings to a boil. So that's basically to sterilize it. I did actually also put hot water into here just kind of to sterilize it as well. All right, then number two, prepare the calcium water. So you're gonna take this packet. I already opened it and I actually already did it, but you're gonna take this and you're gonna put a half a teaspoon of this into a half a cup of water and then shake it, okay? That's what it says, non, number two. Prepare a calcium, put half a teaspoon and a half a cup of water and shake well. So that's what I've done there. I'm set that aside. Now we're gonna prepare the fruit. So uh, we're gonna measure the fruit and begin to, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually mash this and then measure it. Um, and I'm gonna do this over here, right here. We see this right here. So follow, follow with me because it's a little confusing, but four cups of mashed fruit um, is gonna give me about four jars here. So I'm gonna do four cups of mashed fruit with, um, I can put one, three fourths to two cups of sugar in there. I'm gonna put less than two cups, but more than three fourths, so I'll show you that. And then we're gonna put two teaspoons pectin and two teaspoons calcium water. So let me walk that through with you, okay? So just uh, walk here, we're gonna just smash these. Okay, so I have this mashed like this. Um, now what we're gonna do is this says to, um, we just prepared the fruit like by mashing it. And so now we're gonna measure it and put it into our pot because we're gonna actually boil it, okay? So it calls for, if you see up here, it calls for four cups of fruit. And that's four cups of mashed fruit. Okay, so that's two. Let's see if I can get it here. There's four. Okay, so there's our four cups of mashed fruit. And then it says to add proper amount, number four, it says add proper amount of calcium, um, our mixture. So this is the calcium mixture. Over here, it says right here, two teaspoons calcium, calcium water. So two teaspoons of calcium water. 
So this is a half a teaspoon. Uh, so basically I need four of these, right? So one, that makes one teaspoon. I need two. So that's two teaspoons. Okay. Now it says, uh, and then I need to stir it well. Okay. Get that calcium water mixed in there. Okay. Now we go on to number five. It says measure sugar uh, into a separate bowl and then put the pectin powder, the right amount of the pectin powder in here, okay? So as you can see, number five, we're gonna measure uh, sugar. So remember up here, it says I can use uh, three quarters of a cup to two cups of sugar. So I can decide how much I want. So I'm gonna make it a little bit less sugary. I'm going to only put, um, I'm gonna do one, I think I'm going to do one, whoops, I'll do a little bit over one cup in there. All right. And then this is my pectin. I don't know why I cut it like that. It's so stupid. <laughs> I cut it so stupidly. Okay. So here you can see that it says two teaspoons of two. It says two teaspoons of pectin. I gotta get my biscuits out of the oven. Hold on. There we go. See, I'm putting biscuits in the oven for sure. Okay, tonight. There we go. Okay, so right here, uh, we read this again. So number five, we're gonna measure the sugar and put it into a separate bowl, which we just did. And I chose to only put a little bit over one, one cup on, in here. And then I'm going to put the proper amount of pectin powder in, which is two teaspoons pectin, okay? So this is a half a teaspoon. So I need four of these to make two teaspoons, okay? So one, Two. Oh, everything's going off. Maggie, can you change the water? Okay, three, four. Okay, that's my pectin. And I'm going to mix this in together. All right. So now we're going to go over here to number six, bring the fruit juice to a boil. So number six, right there, we're gonna bring the fruit juice to a boil, or the fruit to a boil. Um, and then we're gonna add this into here once it's boil, boiled, okay? And then we're gonna stir it for one to two minutes to dissolve the pectin while the mixture returns to a full boil, okay? And then we move from heat. So you're gonna boil this, once it boils, then you're gonna add this to this, then you're gonna stir it until it comes back up to a boil, okay? And then you take it off the heat. Okay, see how it's starting to boil? See that? Yeah. Okay, see how that's boiling? Okay, so what we're gonna do is add the sugar. And once we put the sugar in, it will it will not boil as much. So now we need to mix it in real well, and then it will start to boil again. And once we do, once we're done, then we'll take it off after it starts to boil again. Because we want to get all those sugar granules dissolved.
Mmm, that's gonna be nice jam. And I like to leave, just so you know, I like to mash it so there's some little part, you know, little chunks. Thank you, chunks left. All right, see how it's starting to boil? Wow, thunder and lightning. Good for you. There we go. There we go. So I'm just gonna let it boil here for a sec and then I'm gonna put it uh, off the heat. Okay, so that just came off the stove. Um, I just, we just boiled it and then took it off the heat. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill our jars, like it says to do in uh, number seven right here. We're down here, number seven, we're supposed to fill the jars, uh, basically a quarter of an inch from the top, right? Okay, so I have a little scoopy thing there. So I'm gonna ladle it in, quarter inch from the top. And take a, a clean rag and you're gonna wipe the tops. Okay. Wipe the tops. I'm gonna take these lids that have been boiled and sterilized. Basically. put them on top. So if you can do this, you're gonna be fine at canning like peaches and pears and applesauce and stuff. It'll be super easy. This is just, this is how you do it with the big stuff too. Okay, then you take your rings, gonna lock them down. Oops, man that's hot. Okay, now we're gonna come back and do a water bath here in a little bit. That, that'll preserve them. So see how cool that look? Those are nice, but they're not done yet. Okay, we've gotta preserve them. Okay, so the next step is to preserve them. This is just a big pot. It's a double, double boiler pot that has a strainer and I just put it down inside. Um, I have a big canner, but I'm not gonna use a canner for this because they're small. So what you wanna do is put water in and then you wanna put your jars in here until the water goes over the jars. That's important. It's also important to not put the jars on just the straight on the bottom one because you don't want the jars um, in contact with the heat from the burner. Okay, so those are all underwater. There's probably about an inch of water there. I want you to see too how, see how this like, you see how that's like kind of got air right there and it, you can hear that? That's what we're gonna get rid of. That When we suck that down, then that's what's gonna preserve them. Okay, so that's what this is, water bath is gonna do. I'm gonna put this on the stove and bring it to a boil for 10 minutes. I'm actually gonna add a couple minutes into it because of my elevation. So I'm gonna do probably, I'm gonna do a 12 minute boil on this. Just let it boil straight for 12 minutes. So you don't uh, start counting your 10, 12 minutes of boil time until it's at a full boil, okay? So it's taken a while, it's still not at a full boil, but it's coming. As soon as it's a big rolling boil, then you start counting your 12 minutes. Okay, so now we're done. So I've got these off the stove. They've been boiling for uh, 12 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out. I have a handy damn dad nandy little grabber thing. I'm going to put them on a rag to get them out of the, the water. And 
and uh, then we're gonna let him set up and we'll come back and we'll check to make sure that seal is properly is fully done okay yay hey okay so these have cooled just a little bit but I just want to show you see how that's indented there and when you tap on it it doesn't push down there's no push down like it did before remember so this is sealed and that's going to cool it's a little bit sloppy right now because it's uh hot but it's going to cool and then i can leave it on the shelf so yeah so i will write down on it strawberry and then the year uh, the best way to eat strawberries i think are with short cake and whipped cream. Although you can also use use vanilla yogurt ah, if you don't want the whipped cream. But this is my favorite way to eat strawberries. But this will get us jam for the year. So I'm gonna make some more batches tomorrow. Shalom! <laughs> Happy eating. Don't those look nice? Thank you.